What are the top issues for black women ahead of the 2024 election? That topic, along with others, will be on the agenda when a group of women from across the political spectrum get together for a, an event co-sponsored by our partners at The Hill. It's happening tomorrow at Howard University. I am joined now by the moderator of Black Women in Politics, Cheyenne Daniels, race and politics reporter at The Hill. Cheyenne, it's so good to see you again. Uh, so this event is happening tomorrow. Just talk about how politicians on both sides are courting the black vote this year, a vote that is certainly far from a monolith. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. We are so excited for tomorrow's event. And what we have been seeing is so much investment going into Black voters for the 2024 presidential election. In particular, we are seeing both President Biden and former President Donald Trump really trying to boost their numbers with Black voters. Now, this looks very different um, between the two candidates. Obviously, we see President Biden creating ads to air on different Black-owned properties um, to air during the March Madness games on streaming devices versus former President Donald Trump, who we have seen showing up at different Black events, such as the Black Conservative Federation's annual gala that he was at earlier this year, as well as his newfound uh, attempt to create a sneaker line that he thinks will do very well with Black voters. So very clear that both candidates see the value in Black voters. Um, and so we'll kind of see what happens as we get closer to November. You know, and, and Cheyenne, there really seems to be an increase in black support for the former president for Donald Trump this election cycle, and particularly among black men. Stephen A. Smith spoke with our Chris Cuomo last night about this political shift. Let's listen. Joe Biden is not necessarily inspiring. We don't want to admit publicly that Joe Biden's 81 plus million votes that he received in the 2020 election was a byproduct of people voting against Trump more so than voting mm -hmm. for him. You know, and there are a lot of black voters that feel that Democrats kind of take them for granted. So how are Democrats trying to respond this cycle? I think that's a wonderful question. You hit the nail on the head a little bit earlier when you said black voters are not a monolith. Um, and there are quite a few voters who are saying they have been taken for granted for decades when it comes to their support of Democrats. So what we're hearing from Democrats in the Congressional Black Caucus, as well as the Democratic National Committee is saying, we have to work on our messaging to black voters. We have to get to where they are. We have to meet them in their communities and express exactly what Democrats have done under not only the Biden administration, but in Congress to improve the quality of life for black Americans. You know, and before we let you go, Cheyenne, I mean, this event is about black women in politics. Talk about the impact of black women in politics and how it has really evolved over the years. You know, when we think back to Shirley Chisholm becoming the first black woman elected to Congress to where we are today with so many members, not only in Congress, but at the state levels, we're seeing a real big push for black women to take their place, to take a seat at the table, not just casting their ballots, but wanting to be part of the conversations, wanting to be the ones making these policies. And so, you know, I think tomorrow we're going to get into not only what are the issues on the tops of the minds of black women as they're going to the ballot boxes, but what's really driving them to enter into the races themselves? And what's the difference between a black woman in the seat versus somebody else who, you know, maybe maybe a white man? And so it's going to be a very interesting discussion, as you mentioned, across all elements of the political spectrum. And we're very excited. Well, Hill reporter and moderator of this event tomorrow, Cheyenne Daniel, so great to speak with you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.